Hey Dolphins, John Kinjemi here. On today's episode, we'll recap yesterday's game as the Dolphins took on the Tennessee Titans. Highlights and much more right here on Dolphins Daily. Hey, keep running, keep running. It was a disappointing performance coming back to Hard Rock Stadium as the Dolphins fell to 1-4 on the season, losing to the Tennessee Titans 30-17. A lack of run defense and not enough consistency on offense helped contribute to the loss. There were some explosive plays in the game, but not enough to overcome a pair of turnovers and losing both the battle on the offensive and defensive side of the line of scrimmage. Well, let's focus in on some of the positives from yesterday's game. Early in the second quarter, down 7-0, the Dolphins tied the game with a big play on special teams from rookie Jakeem Grant, who went 74 yards down the sidelines. Grant found the wall to his right side and used his speed to outrun the initial wave of defenders. And then his quickness to stop and start again running away from everyone heading into the end zone. Here's what the rookie had to say about his big moment. Once I got to the, the next level and I, I knew that I was messed up with the kicker and another guy and I just knew that I was going all the way from there. After the Titans struck back with a 12-play scoring drive of their own to make it 14-7, the Dolphins would answer again with a 6-play, 79-yard scoring drive culminating with a 4-yard touchdown run from Jay Ajayi to tie the score at 14. It was Ajayi's second of the season and third touchdown of his career. Some of the other explosive plays on the afternoon were by running back Damian Williams with a 58-yard catch and run that set up the four-yard touchdown by Jay Ajayi. Also, wide receiver Devontae Parker hauled in a 50-yard pass, the longest of his career from quarterback Ryan Tannehill, that ultimately led to a 24-yard field goal by place kicker Andrew Franks. In the end, Miami wasn't able to create enough of those explosive plays to win at home. The Dolphins now must find a way to turn their fortunes around quickly as the AFC North division-leading Pittsburgh Steelers visit Hard Rock Stadium this Sunday. Fans, in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month and the Crucial Catch campaign, the Dolphins showed their support by wearing pink apparel, including hats, skull caps, armbands, gloves, towels, and captain patches. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. We'll see you here tomorrow with more Dolphin news and updates.